Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about an unusual topic. I'm going to be talking about vaping. So um, I, I was blessed to be born uh, with uh, evangelical Christians who raised me, uh, you know, in the evangelical faith. And when I was 15, I became a Christian myself. But one of the byproducts of that is uh, they really just kind of demonstrated that uh, tobacco, alcohol, and drugs are just not a part of any Christian's life. And I saw all these really, I saw very directly all these incredibly strong benefits to just keeping these elements out of your life. And it, it really has become like a little mini superpower. Like I've never had a problem with any of these issues in my life because of how my parents raised me, because of the model they set. And now without these things in my life, it's just, it, it, it just makes life smoother. There's just all these problems I don't need to deal with that, that many others do. But one of the things that I've looked at is, is uh, smoking, and uh, smoking is really fascinating. Uh, you know, of course, I've never smoked, so I have never used tobacco in my entire life, never used any alcohol in my entire life, and never taken any drug in my entire life that was not prescribed by a doctor. And even when I do that, I'm incredibly careful and I'm always a little frightened when I go on any kind of prescription drug. I'm, I'm really, because to me, you know, I have this freedom, I have this wonderful freedom from all these things, and I see that a lot of other people are trapped by this, you know, and and so I just really thank the Lord, you know, that my parents demonstrated this for me and just kind of gave this to me as a gift. Um, but but smoking is an unusual one because it's, um, you know, I really, I've never used tobacco in any way in my entire life, but I also really feel strongly that people should have the freedom to smoke. Like, I'm a, you know, I'm also an American patriot. I, I feel, I, I believe in freedom and I see that, you know, smokers are having a harder and harder time having the freedom to actually smoke anywhere like they just keep getting pushed out and out of so it's this topic that I watch and one of the things I'm, I'm uh why I'm talking about it today is specifically what I want to talk about today is vaping because vaping is is technology based and it affected a part of our lives in a way that I think absolutely no one expected vaping to affect our lives it's really really strange so one of the things is I've been absolutely fascinated the way vaping has been introduced, very, very quickly evolved, and is now settled, right? I really feel vaping is settled. But it, it, I don't think anybody could have predicted this, how, how this would go. So one, I don't really feel that anybody really predicted vaping coming at all. Like, I never heard anyone talking about it before. It just kind of appeared on the scene. You don't really see it in any of our old, uh, you know, pieces of art. Even in science fiction, there's, there's nothing like it. So it just came out of nowhere, right? And so, and I think one of the things that's really fascinating about vaping is, at this point, the world ha has split into three factions on on smoking. There are non-smokers like myself. There are um, there are smokers, and there are regretful smokers. And that is the entire vaping clan, right? Like, um, basically. You have people who don't smoke. You have people who smoke. And then I, this, you know, I think vaping, when, when it first came out, people were like, oh, what's this? You know, and there was this idea that, they, that people would, you know, use these vape cigarettes. They would look like a regular cigarette, but they would, like, make purple smoke or, you know, purple mist or green mist or, you know, and that, it, that there was there was this brief shining moment where people thought that that vaping would be cool, like it would it would change smoking, right? And now what it has really really quickly morphed into is absolutely no one uses any of those like vaping cigarettes. It's all you know uh, non-smoker, right? Then they're smoking, and this is weird. I think one of the reasons why people smoke is it's cool. Like, it's literally seen in these old movies, right? And you would see, like, the smoky haze go over their eyes. You have an implement of fire in your hand, and there's, you know, just this smoke wafting off of it in these unpredictable patterns, you know? And, like, and so, like, from the 40s and the 50s, it was seen as glamorous. Now, that has completely gone away. I don't think really anybody sees it as glamorous. But a lot of people still see it as bold, saying, oh, you know, this person doesn't care about, you know, death, right? They, they just laugh in the face of death by being a smoker, you know? And so it still has this panache among, you know, a certain number of people. And when you see a smoker, they're like, yeah, I smoke, you know, like... And then there's this entire other set now, right? So one, 
all the all the trappings of elegance or panache or coolness are completely stripped from vaping and like every vaping unit now looks like a phone charger mixed with a baby bottle right like you know it has that nub on the end and you're like oh my gosh that is the most uncool thing that has ever existed on you know the planet like wow right so why do people use these things well the biggest reason is that third one the regretful smoker group is big right so like arguably 90 percent of all smokers will vape at some point in their life because they're going to be like oh man the cost of you know of smoking the health benefit you know the health detriments of smoking all the problems you know the the fact that i could accidentally burn something to the ground all these terrible things i better switch to vaping so you have non-smokers you have smokers you have vapor you have these regret and now you have regretful smokers who all vape right and it's just you know and i and the thing that really really just absolutely fascinates me is how quickly this all happened how completely unforeseen it was and how even these strong industries that that have billions of dollars to spend on making something, uh, you know, cool, air quotes, right, um, was not able to do anything about the trajectory of vaping and where it actually landed, right? Um, and you know, and 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 vaping. The other thing is like I don't think anybody is like I'm going to start vaping. It's just non-smoker, smoker oh, crap, I regret smoking, now I vape, right? And it's just just really, really incredible to me how how it was almost impossible to predict any, any of it. The way it actually unfolded, the what it looks like today, the three groups that exist, right? And, and, and also, it's a huge lesson to me that the reality is you create technology, but absolutely no one can really accurately, accurately, accurate, accurately predict where it will land within the culture, right? So our culture and how we respond to things can be very, very unpredictable, especially when it comes to technology. And that even billion dollar industries have incredible difficulty, if not impossibility, of changing the culture's mind on any given topic, especially technology, right? So it's really, really fascinating. So just kind of some musing on the three different factions now, non-smokers, smokers, and regretful smokers who all vape. And I think that's really all that exists anymore. Take care.